I want questions. you to tell me what this is all about. Okay. Other than all uh, sure, the work uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The FBI. In 1965, I went to college. Okay. And it was right after um, the, um, the United States had invaded Vietnam. Okay. It was very similar to March of 2003. In now, when the United States invaded Iraq, mm -hmm. uh, in the in the in the spring of of '65, bam, like that, and then and it grew, but it was big. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I turned 18 that summer, and I went to college. And when I, when I got to college, I found there were all these cool kids who were organizing against the war. Columbia so at, at Columbia University. Okay. So I joined them, and I spent three years as a student organizer. We we they taught me how to. You know, how do you do, th how do you organize, how do you build things, right? And, and uh, things reached ahead. They sort of exploded in um, uh, April of 1968, right after Martin Luther King had been killed, when we had a giant takeover of the university because of its involvement with the war and because of its racism, institutional racism. Very white racist place, New York City, but still. And wasn't Eisenhower the head of Columbia University? It was until time? until he was elected president. He but he was kind of just a figurehead because he wasn't an academic. Okay. Yeah, but it was a very conservative place, extremely conservative, you know. And 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 it was right next to Harlem. That's another thing which I write about. It's like here's Columbia, there's Harlem. It's like there it is, and and you look down on Harlem. A friend of mine uh, was lost, and you know because there's uh, you take the. Um, the subway uptown, and at a certain point, if you don't, if you're on the express and you don't switch to the local, you you get off at 116th Street, but it's the wrong 116th Street. It's the black 116th Street, not the white one, oh. right? So this friend of mine got off the wrong uh, uh, station, and he's wandering around, and he's and he's he goes up to somebody and said, "Where's Columbia?" And the guy says, "Look up." And I said, what do you mean, look up? He says, look! And then they, wow, there it is! You know, it's right there, but it's like up, you know? It's about 200 feet difference. And you can, and it's got these monumental uh, imperial buildings. All neo, uh, neoclassical, it's not, uh, uh, bullshit. It's amazing. So you think the symbolism in all that? It's an imperial university. Yeah. Hey, that looks like where I went to school. Which is where? Northwestern. Yeah, it's the same. Beautiful. Yeah. <laughs> Northwestern? It's gorgeous. <laughs> so then um, the, um, um, I became famous during that strike. We took, uh, I was the chairman of the Columbia chapter of Students for Democratic Society, SDS, and I became the symbol of radical students. Then Mega my friends and I started, uh, uh, we, we, we were in a bigger organization called SDS National Students for Democratic Society, and we started organizing, and and and, and I mean we didn't start, but we, we 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 our success at Columbia, we involved thousands and thousands and thousands of people, it sort of went to our head, and we thought, aha, we can reproduce this everywhere, so we tried, and it was sort of it sort of did happen in a way. Two years later was the. Millions of students went on strike in 1970. But then we started getting ideas that it was at the time for a revolution, meaning a complete and total overthrow of the system that had given us war, the war and racism, the, the, the empire. And we had many theories. We were intellectuals of sorts. We had theories, one of them based on a, a, a slogan of, of, of Che Guevara, the, the, the idea was create two, three, many Vietnams, meaning the United States would be defeated in Vietnam, but then there were other revolts all around the world, including in this country, black people and, 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 and uh, Chicano people, Indians fighting for their rights, freedom. Uh, so we said, well, we're going to be white people who are going to support them. And we founded an organization called the Weather Underground. And the idea was the violent overthrow of the government of the United States. Ta-da! And that started in 1970. Uh, we started making bombs, and, 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 and a group in New York that I was not in, but I was, like, in touch with. Like, I was just a few blocks away, let's say. Um, they were all people I knew. Uh, they were all friends. They, they were making bombs, 
and it, it, they went off accident, prematurely, accidentally, and they, they killed three of their own people. There's a picture you'll find. Here, here's the picture. Oh my God. The strategy here. Oh my God. Well, the, 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 yeah, the strategy <laughs> was the strategy was based on you on. You can't a, make bombs and blow up the. Email. Right. The, no. The, the 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 strategy was. That's a very good question. The strategy was based on a theory by Che Guevara. Che Guevara was um, um, a an Argentine who had joined Fidel Castro. In, in Cuba, and and had had, he was a doctor, uh, and he had he had risen to the level of um, a, a commander in the in the in the guerrilla force that overthrew the the dictatorship of Batista, and he became like the leading theorist of the time, of rev of guerrilla warfare, right, and and his theory was based on the Cuban experience. A small group starts armed struggle, and the people join. That was the theory. It's a lousy theory. And he died attempting to implement that theory in Bolivia in 1967. And he's the subject of an excellent movie that's out now. Oh, yeah. There's a, there's a movie called Che. And there's an earlier movie you might have seen. It's called The Motorcycle Diaries. Which, so, but what were you guys going to do? So you're going to have an armed, you're going to create your own little army and yeah, yeah, grow, we, we, and then you're going to do what? We were, uh, we, we would you grow. Had we would, we would you grow. Getting? We would grow. We would get more and more people join us, and, and until there was eventually a revolutionary. Enough to have a coup. No, a war. A war. A war, a war not a coup. A war. Yeah. Our slogan was. Who is much? Yeah. Our slogan was, <laughs> bring the war home. I see. There was the war out there. So then the FBI didn't like you after that. No, they didn't like us. The oath of, of, of every soldier, uh, certainly officers, mm -hmm. is to uphold the Constitution, and this is all of the president too, mm -hmm. against all enemies, internal and external. Correct. He said he knew now I was a phony and couldn't be relied on in the coming revolutionary struggle. I was devastated, you say. And then uh, later you say... Um, we mouthed Mao's famous slogan, political power grows out of the barrel of a gun. But you say, uh, I postured and gave speeches on the necessity for violence, but I was terrified. I and most of my comrades were middle class white kids trying to prove themselves in the world of black working class and internal re international revolution. No wonder that that call from Walter was so disturbing and remained so for so many years I had been found out. Okay, I'm not I'm a violent just... person. I never was. You know? <laughs> Why didn't you guys just join Martin Luther King or Because or we we were enamored. That That's or, a very good I mean, question. Did you, did you yeah. not know how effective he was gonna no, his yeah, was it ultimately gonna be or we didn't his think, tactics? Yeah, we didn't uh, at that time we were very much under the influence of, of the of the uh, theories of black power. Okay. Ma uh, Malcolm X. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the, the idea was that, okay. what was the goal? Was the goal integration of black people into white society? Or was the goal freedom? Mm -hmm. Right? And self-determination. Mm -hmm. And what were the means that were being used, that could be used? Um, around the world, we, uh, Cuba had won its freedom from imperialism by force of arms. China had won its freedom... Uh, What's that? So did the U.S. So right, did America. Right, 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 right. right. So, we, so uh, the way it's done. Marxism, political power grows out of the barrel of a gun. You know, I, I now have different thinking on that.